Stand call is Tower System 3131 Juliet. We are 7 to the northeast, uh, 1500 with Zulu, full stop. System 3131 Juliet, San Carlos Tower, ident, enter right base, runway 30, report the cement plant. Impressive. Yeah. Okay, right base for 30, and we'll report cement plant, 3131 Juliet. System 31 Juliet, thank you, ident, observe, just northwest of the KGO radio towers. Set the 646 out the whiskey, okay, travel come down to a mile west of KGO inbound for the cement plant at 1,000. And we're going to do a right presently. traffic for 30. Okay, right. You mean 6 out the whiskey? Whiskey, x ray, you know. Okay, just keep heading where you're heading. I think that's okay. There's the cement plant right there. No, whiskey is always preferable to any x rays. <laughs> I had to think about that one. Come on. That was a good one. Where else do you want me to be at? Uh, 1,000 feet. Okay. And now you can bring the power back in because you're getting pretty close to pattern altitude. It's hard to see, but the airport is right over there. We'll go directly to the cement plant, and then we'll square it off for a uh, right base for three zero. Set to six out the whiskey traffic, one o'clock, two and a half miles, 1,200 feet southwest bound towards the cement plant. Inside, six out the whiskey. Set to six out the whiskey, thank you. Remain outside Bravo airspace, contact NORCAL departure. Contact NORCAL and stay out of the Bravo, uh, six out the whiskey. You said the 31 Juliet traffic one moving two o'clock, a mile and a half at the same altitude. Cessna has you in sight. I see. Okay, got him in sight as well. 31 Juliet. Three legs one zero eight Charlie Hotel. Taxi two parking via Kilo. Remain this frequency. Go ahead. Skyhawk three nine or five nine or Lima. Remain at that. It's twenty six hundred. Twenty six hundred feet. Car 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 so this probably be the lowest, uh, the shortest runway you've landed. You can do it. Minimum. No problem. Set the three one Juliet runway three zero clear to land. Clear land three zero three one Juliet. An airline just flew right over us. I saw the shadow go under. Okay, so you can start to make out the airport now. I see buildings. I don't see and the runway. And the highway right there. You see those uh, cars on the highway right there? Uh, yeah. They run parallel to it. So once you hit the cement plant, you can kind of square it so it's just like about an angle like this. That'll put you on a ninety degree base. Base. Okay, gas is on both, the undercarriage is right down, now. mixture's rich, drops full forward, seatbelts fastened, wind check. Wind 360 at 5. 360 at 5, so it'll be a slight right wind, just bear it. I don't have to do any slip or anything. No, you shouldn't have to do anything. Okay. Alright, so let's start going through our, our process here. Alright, so... Pull the power back to 2000. Put your first notch of flaps in once you're in the white arc. Try to kind of extend a little okay, bit. Go ahead, put it down, and then start pushing the airplane down because we got to get down now. We're, not, we're still at 100 knots. I can't. If I push the nose down, I won't be able to get right. the flaps down. Oh, um, once you get the flaps in. All right, pull power to 15. Okay, just keep coming down. Remember, you want to be about 500 feet when you turn final, so just kind of. Do whatever you got to do to make that happen. Okay, that's three zero. Confirmed. We are cleared to land. Oh God, takeoff's gonna be scary. Okay, so what else do we do on base here? Twenty degrees. All right. All right. Just keep her coming down at eighty knots. And if you get to your 500 feet, then you can just kind of add power and fly it all the way at 500 feet. Don't come down any further until you're ready to turn final. So you could add power if you wanted to. Keep it square. Don't you're you're kind of cheating your way over right now. You're the only show in town, so there's no. He's not going to rush us. All right, here we go. So you, there you are, 500 feet. You're rolling out on final. See, everything's perfect. You didn't even have to fly the pattern. You got it all squared away. As soon as you get rolled out, 30. bring the power uh, back to at least 15, put 30 in, and then back on the power um, as needed to make it to the field. Looking good. Thank you. 
Dallas Tower, good morning, Cherokee 15630. 3,700 descending with Zulu for San Carlos. Cherokee 15630, San Carlos, Tower Strait, and approach runway 30, we'll report a three mile final. Straight in 30, three mile final on the report, Cherokee 15630. There you go, good, looking good, looking good, looking good. It's going to be, oh, 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 there you go, nice job. Tower 31 Juliet, we're going Northwest Transient Parking for the uh, museum. And uh, Cherokee, uh, correct assistant 31 Juliet, we no longer have any transient parking in the uh -huh. Northwest area. It's all reserved now. So for uh, museum, you'll have to go right and get a ride over to the museum. Okay. Right. Uh, we'll be right at Delta then? Assistant 31 Juliet, affirmative turn right at Delta, turn left on Lima, hold there and contact ground point six. Right Delta, left Lima, hold, talk to ground 31 Juliet. That was a cool airport. Dang it. It's just, get, get off the road. Get nothing but bad poop. Okay. Go ahead, clean it up while I talk to ground. Hate that noise. Yeah, San Carlos ground, uh, Cessna 3131 Juliet, we're on Lima, and uh, we'd like to taxi to uh, Transient Park. 3131 Juliet, San Carlos ground, continue straight ahead on Lima, uh, over by where that windsock is, ahead to your right along the fence. Go down that first row on the fence, you can park anywhere left or right, there's uh, letters T in front of the Transient Parking spot. Okay, we'll follow Lima, I've got the uh, windsock in sight. Uh, 313 Juliet. 313 Juliet. Uh, you can get a hold of Rabbit Fuel 130.0, and they may be able to make some arrangements for you to get over there on the other side. I appreciate it. Thanks. You bet. That's where we were supposed to be able to park, but there's a Mew, and uh, they said over here. There's Moss. Uh-oh. 